Lviv is a city in Western Ukraine with a population that increased to more than 1 million people now, mostly because of all those people moving from the eastern parts of Ukraine to the west in order to get away from the war. Around 54% of people use public transport to get around the city. We have 8 tram routes, 11 trolley bus routes and 62 bus routes in Lviv. One of them is express from the railway station to Lviv airport. Most of people try to combine different types of transportation, for example, private cars and public transport or public transport and bicycles. The authorities state that electric public transport is the priority for the city. The history of Lviv tram is more than 100 years old. Nowadays, Lviv has 11 modern trams electron. They are produced in our city and 118 older Tatra trams. We also have two tram depots. Except from the newly built tram line to the Sikhiv district, almost all of them are old and some of them are even historical. Some of the tram lines, including the rails and the overhead, wires were replaced during street reconstruction. Currently, the city electric public transport company Lviv Elektrotrans operates 90 trolleybuses on 11 routes. Most of them are new ones made on electron factory in Lviv, but there are some older trolleybuses that underwent modernization in Lviv Trolleybus Depot. Trolleybuses in Lviv provide transportation to the city districts that were built in 1970s, 1980s. Recently, our city has bought more than 200 new large 12 meter long buses. The rest of the buses operating in Lviv are smaller, 8-meter buses without any possibility of people using wheelchairs or parents with baby carriages to get inside. There are more than 400 buses like that in Lviv. Apart from city bus routes, there are a whole range of suburban bus routes traveling through Lviv. Besides the high popularity, public transport in Lviv has a number of problems. The route network is far from being good, as it does not meet the requirements of passengers. Some parts of the city lack public transport, and there are even places where there is no public transport at all. Traffic schedule is also a problem, as bus routes do not have a schedule at all, and you can't get to some destinations after 8 p.m. because the transport stops operating. When the transport is unpredictable, it can't be reliable. Some routes lack transportation units or use the units of low passenger capacity, so they are often overcrowded. In general, except for the trams, trolley buses and buses the city bought during the last five years, most of the transport is rather old and in poor condition. A lot of overhead wires and rails worked out the resort as well. Some of the trolley bus routes have been closed and there is no money to build the new ones. 
The city public transportation model does not have an option of transfer tickets between electric transport and buses. The issue had to be solved when implementing the automated payment system, the so-called electronic ticket. But the project is still being in development. One more issue we have to deal with is navigation. There is no correct information available on bus stops, so often people do not know which route number should they wait for. The routes are being changed so often, it has become a problem. The war triggers more changes. Now we've got more problems with public transport. One of them is the organization of transportation when the curfew was implemented. It starts at 11 pm, however, you have almost no chances to take public transport home after 9.30 and to some of the districts after 8 pm. It would be reasonable to organize the schedule so that the last bus reaches the final stop at least 10 minutes before the curfew starts. All the drivers should have special passes, public institution workers have them, and the transportation department should care that they get back home. One more challenge is the fuel shortage. Since we had that, some of the bus routes are cancelled. Some have less buses operate. However, our public transportation system has great perspectives. There is a number of things we should do, and for some of them it's high time to start planning, and some are ready to be implemented. To make public transport attractive for car owners, we need to build intercepting parkings combined with public transport, final stops and shopping malls. To make sure all city districts have enough public transport, we need to build new tram lines to highly populated areas, for example, to Emergency Hospital on Mikulichuka Street, to Holosko District, to Winniki Suburban District, to Bus Station No. 2, and so on. Some of the trolleybus lines should be extended as well. The city needs to continue buying new transport units with low floor level for limited mobility people access. We also need to start a project of tram modernization with adding low floor sections. Speaking about the buses, we have enough 12-meter buses, but there is a need in smaller buses with low floor section. To get more possibilities of developing sustainable transportation in different city districts, we need to start buying trolley buses with autonomous motion instead of fuel engine buses. All the existing old tram and trolley bus lines should undergo reconstruction, taking into account implementing the public transport priority on the streets. Increasing public transport speed should make it more attractive. Here the bus lanes can help. You cannot have good public transport without good bus stops having accessible platforms and navigation. We need to create more transportation hubs where the passengers may take a convenient transfer from one transport type to another. To make the transport units last longer and be reliable, we need a modern repair facility in the city. The sooner we start all those projects, the more chances we have to keep the number of public transport users above 50% and not to become one more car-centric city. However, due to the war and economic conditions, most of the projects were stopped. The only way out probably is to search for extra funding sources. However, I strongly believe that we can cope with those challenges and become a city with the best public transport system in Ukraine. See you soon in Lviv! Bye!